people go, did he really cut his finger off? Yeah. What happened? Yeah, mate, there was a lot of, I guess, injuries at the start of my career. Um, ever since I was my first season, season in under 20s with the Rabbitohs in 2015, I remember I think it was my third game or something, I had to, I was putting a local anaesthetic in my finger to try and play and that was just me as a as a young kid trying to push through it and was, the one, was it the one problem finger? yeah yeah, yeah so the, this one problem finger uh, one finger it's been the only problem there and it sort of led to other injuries because i couldn't play so i was doing fitness doing a lot more running and then my hips broke down i had a groin reconstruction um in 2016 and then it got to um i kept trying to fix my finger and what actually happened was i ruptured the tendon which is these little stringy things that go to the tips of your finger which help you be able to open and close your hand mm. Um, I ruptured that and then I kept playing with it when it was ruptured um, and then by the time we got surgery and went to repair it all the cartilage had died in the joint so it was just bone rubbing on bone and then I saw the surgeon again and he said um, this was years ago and he said you can either cut it off or you can fuse it and I thought yeah well obviously I don't want to cut it off straight away I'm, I was 19 years old or whatever and I said alright let's try and fuse it so they put some wires in to try mm. and hold the finger um, pretty much essentially cut the knuckle out and just make it one bone from the end here to the tip. Mm. And so I tried to do that just so I could hang on to my finger. Um, and then that fusion broke. So they said, all right, let's try some screws, put screws in it. Wow. And then that, that broke again and I tried screws again. And had, I think I tried to refuse it five times. And then it got to end of 2017, start of 2018 where... It's amazing. I'll let you get back to this, but it's amazing how Chinese whispers go. It, like the, the, yeah. the folklore story yeah. that you just uh, decided in the dressing room one day know, and someone eventually came along with a wheelchair yeah. knife and was gone. You've heard that story. <laughs> I know, I know. So, not this full yeah. story, the people, true story. People come to me being crying, you crazy bastard, just cutting <laughs> your finger off. Like, mate, I tried to fix it for, for three or four years and it just, wasn't, it just wasn't fixing. So it got to the point where I'd broken it again and it was the seventh surgery in four years. Mm. Um, I was 21 years old. I had to make the call to cut my finger off. And um, obviously it was a tough one to, mm. to swallow. And obviously looking down and not seeing my finger for the first time was pretty daunting. But I think, um, yeah, mate, you can't, you can't, if you, if you don't laugh at it, you'll cry about it. So You've grown to live with it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. You and have to, I think. And, and by the end, you really had no option, did yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. It was either keep trying and and keep trying to fix it when it wasn't going to get fixed or give up footy or cut your finger off so mm. for me at the end of the day um as a young kid who, who loved his footy and um yeah i, I wouldn't i wouldn't make I've, i think i made the right decision yeah. I'll do it all again.